From the WBONTV.com newsroom, here's what's happening. Another of the students from Berea involved in the October 27th crash has now died from their injuries. 21-year-old Inkjan Inkbold passed last night due to multiple blunt force trauma injuries. The crash occurred on Walnut Meadow Drive, and currently two people are facing charges in connection with the wreck. Police in Lexington are investigating what they believe was a trap to steal a pizza delivery driver's car. Around 10.30 last night on Cornerstone Drive, an order was placed for delivery at Papa John's. But when the driver arrived, he was met by an ambush of three individuals, one of which had a handgun. The assailants demanded the driver's money and keys, and then reportedly stole the driver's dark gray 2010 Honda Accord. If you have any information, you're asked to contact the Lexington Police Department. The Madison County Corner was called to the scene of an accident that occurred yesterday on Tates Creek Road in Richmond near Gray Oaks Drive. According to police, a truck and passenger car collided, leaving one female passenger dead at the scene. Madison County Coroner Jimmy Cornelison filled us in on the details. The uh, person who was driving the uh, passenger car was a Peggy Smith, 63 years old, from Richmond. I think wet roads are a factor. Uh, they're reconstructing it at this time. But she was pronounced dead at the scene. Another person is in UK hospital with serious injuries and Tate's Creek has now reopened after it was shut down by crews from Sunset to Westover Avenues as Kentucky State Police worked the accident reconstruction. It sounded like at an airport on a jet just initially trying to take off. Walked out in the yard quite a ways and, uh, and continued to hear the noise and I said what in the world is that? A Columbia Gulf spokesperson told LEX-18 it was maintenance and repair work on a gas line. He also claimed residents were told it would be loud with a door-to-door -door notification. But for those who were not at home at the time to receive that notice, the noise conjured memories of that fateful 1986 Garrett County pipeline explosion, which injured nine people. I lived here when that happened, and uh, of course they showed it on television. It was bad, real bad. So everybody around here is concerned. Unfortunately, it was nothing even remotely resembling that tragedy today. Just routine work with a sound that was anything but routine. In a place that normally sounds like this. Covering the noise in Lincoln County, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News. For more news stories, visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Nolan Pettit.